Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to more The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel. And I was just finished playing my games of Blade with everyone. And I beat Elliot. First try. Laura. First try. Magius. First try. And it uh, did not go first try with V. But I was close. Uh, it came down to the. Like a, just a, a random top of our. Top card draw for both of us. And she won that. So good for you, Fee. You win this time. 8.20. Next stop is Heimdallar, the terminus of the express line. Whew, looks like we're almost there. Ooh, doesn't feel like this train ride was all that long. Well, we're just a stone throw west of Trista. We could have just gone back to Trista at night. Well, yeah, that's true, but... Ah, plenty of people commute to work in the capital every day, after all. I could... Uh, but then I just have to play Blade again and again and again. So much Blade. So much Blade. There we are. Heimdall Center Station. Exactly on time. Oh, I'm not sure I recognize this voice. Huh? Oh! Wait, what? You're that. You're that. Claire, isn't it? It's Claire. You're from the Railway Military Police, if memory serves me correctly. You're Captain Claire, was it? Yes! That's right. I'm glad you remember me. I believe it's been about three months since we last met. So, this must be the woman the group who went to Keldic encountered. So this is an officer from the fearsome RMP? Um... Since you're here, does that mean you're going to be the one assigning our tasks for this month's field study? No, I'm just here to provide a place for you to talk with the person who is. That's suspicious. He should be here any moment now. Oh, here he comes. Please be Olivia. Please be Olivia. Perfect timing. No way. No, it's not. It's just his... Dad. Boo. Dad? Huh. <coughs> I've seen him in the Imperial Chronicle before. Governor Regnitz, one of the reformists' most influential voices. So this is Machias' father. <laughs> this is the first time I've met most of you, so let me introduce myself. Imperial Governor Regnitz. I'm Karl Regnitz, Machias' father. I'm the governor of Heimdall and head of the local government. Oh, did he represent Heimdall? I'm going to keep calling it Heimdaller. It's a pleasure to finally meet you, ladies and gentlemen of Class 7. This is quite the secure place to talk. Railway Military Command Post. My apologies for the location. I would prefer to brief you in City Hall. We're going to be short on time, so it's the captain here to lend us this room. Okay, silence and lodgings. H hold on a minute. How did you, of all people, end up being the one to sort out our lodgings at task? It seems a little too convenient. Yeah, now that you mention it. How did you wind up as our point of contact? I probably should have explained a little more first. There's some reason I'm here because I... S of course he does! He sits on Thor's Military Academy's Board of Directors. And once again, nobody had a clue. You... What? How? First, use his brother. Annalise's mother, now Mackie's his father. 
It stretches the bounds of imagination to believe the Academy's choice of directions is a mere coincidence. Mm -hmm. I can assure you the three of us didn't arrange for it to be that way. If anything, I was unsure what to do when the Academy first offered the position to me. The Academy did? Uh, would I rewrite and assume there's some kind of secret reason behind the formation of Class 7? Well, I'm afraid that's not my place to say. I'm the third and final member of the board of directors, so no more surprises, I guess. All right. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. Ah, it's all starting to make sense now. Anyway, back to what you were saying. Take place over three days, which is the first. Uh, the third day will coincide with the start of the summer festival. Half the city and then do a list of needs I've drawn up for you. One of the east, one of the west. Mm. Sure you've seen for yourselves how that... Well, we haven't yet. Both groups were to rove around the entire city. You have trouble getting anything done. All of Group A's cover the area east of Vaincure Street. Folks in the west area of Vaincure Street. Must be an important street. The main thoroughfare that runs through the Imperial City leading to the Imperial Palace. Alright, stretching out to the north. Uh, it's hardly a precise division, but for the purpose of the field study, I'm sure it'll be more than sufficient. Yay, envelopes. What do I gotta do? And keys. Address and keys. So select the ones we got for our field study itinerary. What about this address and key? Alto Street, 43221. Vesta Street. Okay. Alta Street, that's around where my family lives. Really? Yep. Can't say the address brings any particular place to mind, though. Vesta being a main street on the west side of the city. Yeah, it's a fairly lively working class neighborhood. Down of these? That's right. Address the place you'll be staying while you're here, along with your keys. To replace them, just tracking down your logs before you start your work. It was a small returning exercise to help you get a better feel for the city. I can take my leave now. D Dad? Preparation for the summer fest will be running from place to place, as you can imagine. I wish you could stay and chat a bit longer, but that's life and politics for you. One more thing the communications functions of your Arcus has been enabled in the city. Good luck out there. Wait, hold on just a... <sighs> I'm not sure what to make of it all. Yeah, since the governor is expected to be a lot more strict, but he actually seems more... playful. Ugh, I feel ashamed yet to see that. He's always been like that, I'm afraid. He manages to fulfill his responsibilities as governor somehow. Actually, I've heard he's extremely good at his job. From the background he does, he's friendly and down to earth, but people say he's a born leader too. Ah, uh, the Imperial Chronicle always paints him in a favorable light as well. I hear he butts heads with the noble faction far less than his fellow reformist, Chancellor Osborne. Ha! <laughs> Politics, a friendly demeanor, can just as easily be an act to sway popular sentiment. After all, there aren't many who can waltz in and borrow meeting space from the RMP. <coughs> well, uh... The capital is the nexus of the heart of the nation's entire railway network. So indebted to the daily... to the governor regnants is good graces. It's just an opportunity for us to return the favor, at least a little. <laughs> Come on. Well, thank you for allowing us to use this room for our meeting. Our field sitting away, so if you'll excuse us. Yeah, we have to leave. Check out the big city. Incredible. It's so vast. I like the sound of the place. Oh, there's cars and an array, a, a train system inside the city, a tram system, limos, 
the Vermilion Capital. The side of the city never ceases to amaze me. Way too many people. I start to think that I'm in the capital. In fact, I see an old tram zipping along. Where the train vehicles are? I've never happened to ride one, but I believe they used to ferry people around the city more easily. Main form of public transport. They link all 16 of the capital's main districts. Something of an icon here in Hamdler. The fare is pretty cheap too. It makes them convenient for getting around. They just buy a yearly pass. Amazing. And all that, there's so many old cars on the road too. Is that building off in the distance? Val Flame or Val, Val yeah, Val Flame Palace. Residence of His Majesty the Emperor. Though, though for an extent, Chancellor Osborne's imperial government is also situated within. Is this the case? If I leave here, wish you the best of luck on your three days of field service. Thank you. We'll see her again, I'm sure. She doesn't seem like an army officer, does she? Uh, they are known as the Imperial Army's most elite division. That's one of the branches most despised the aristocracy. Protest Railway. I should guarantee you they'll use it as an excuse to meddle in its security affairs. I've rarely seen them in Legram. Despite their actions during our encounter in the National Nature Park, they did seem exceptionally well trained. With the same number of soldiers, they had no trouble rolling right over the provincial army. The captain's so elegant and pretty. She looks good in a uniform. Some people have all the luck. It's like she's everything Sarah isn't. I don't know. I think Sarah looked pretty good in a uniform. Alright, I suppose we have to get moving then. And to hop a tram to where our lodgings are. To find the addresses we've been given. Alright. Bye, everybody. All aboard! Whee! So this is a place where I'm going to have to remember my quick travel options. Into the capital in a long time, but I'm always surprised at just how big this street is. Uh, really? Well, see, there's nothing special to those who've lived here all their lives. So seeing all those orbital cars and trams everything along must be a real sight to people from the provinces. Indeed, in my home province, people are depending less and less on horse-drawn carriages. There's so many orbital cars in one place before. Even here, carriages were the standard up until around 20 years ago. And these seem kind of quaint. You never really see them anymore. The Republic Capital has lots of cars too, just like this. That crossbow probably has the most. Really? Well, traveling for someone your age. But I guess you were in a. Uh... Yep. Yeah, it work. Takes you places. Grrr. Anyway, what's Alta Street like? That's where we're staying while we're here, right? Is that where your house is, Elliot? A pretty cub street, I guess. Yeah, we should be taking it right here. Mm -hmm. Wee! Oh, I see water, which means there's going to be fishing in this place. Alto Street. Concert Cafe. Etoile. 
Etoil? 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 I don't know how to pronounce that. Etoila. That's... That sounds right. I mean, find myself near Alta Street all that often. It's like you live in a nice part of the city, though. You, you think? Alright. Yeah, Elliot. You live around here, right? Why don't we drop by your house first? But... Hmm. Well, that does seem the natural thing to do. I kind of want to see it. Well, it's really near here, but still. I doubt my dad will be. I'm not sure if my sister will be why there. No, yeah, you mentioned having an older sister before. Yes. All the Maurice to pay a visit then, right? Right? Yeah? Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Oh, could you imagine Elliot trying to threaten them with bodily harm? It just wouldn't work. Two-story place with all the flowers. All right. Let's go check it out. Hello, sir. Things are busy. Lots of tourists. Ooh, nothing major. Just gossip. Ooh, it's a tourist. So, all right. It's busy this time of year, yada yada. Being a housewife is hard work. Fancy place. It's been so long since I was last here. I feel a bit nervous. Ah, don't worry. I know the feeling. No such hand wringing. This is your home, after all. I know, but still, come in. Yeah, let's poke around his stuff. Here's the system's home. Well, that's a nice looking place. Oh, is someone there? I'll be with you in just a moment. That's his sister? Sorry for the way. Whoa! Is she? She looks just like Elliot, except pretty and ladylike. Um, hey sis, I'm home! Elliot? Oh, That's sweet. Whoa! Oh my! It's you, it's really you. I don't think you'll be able to see, see you again so soon. Oh, thank the goddess. Sis, please, not in front of my classmates. Uh, looks like they get along pretty well. Yeah, I'm almost jealous. Fiona? Craig. Oh, look, Elliot's blushing. Elliot's older sister, Fiona. Craig. I see you've been saving my brother's skin at school. I'm so glad to find you. Actually, that's the one doing the saving one. No, that's Rain. That's a lie. The tennis has proven valuable on many occasions. Well, no, I won't. His magic regeneration staff has been pretty useful. I'll give him that. Are you blushing? Of course not. Why would I be? Must be Rain, Laura, Machias, and Fee. I see what you meant when you wrote that you'd you made some really interesting friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it did. Uh, could you not talk too much about what I put in those letters about them? Just a uh, just thought. Oh, this would explain how he knew the piano as well as the, the violin. And so happens, I have the day off. Now the children have come by either, so you picked a good time to visit. Oh, you did your piano here at home? It's in the window because the Academy too. Is everyone in this family a musician? Well, almost. But now it's not really the musical time. Ah, I couldn't carry a tune in a wheelbarrow. Ah, sounds like me. Love the chance to go to a concert as a family once in a while. We're so busy with work that he barely has the chance to go home and see us. What does your dad do anyway? Oh, uh, well. Oh, have you not told them? He's a male prostitute. No, 
nothing like that. He's just, he's in the Imperial Army. Ah, this might explain how he knew. Okay, yeah, okay. The Imperial Army, really? Yeah, I mean, right? I don't didn't hear exactly it had the physique. I ain't got a point. My oh, man, I said Craig, the army. Sounds really familiar. Wait. Oh, is his dad like a famous general? Olaf, Cr Ola, uh, yep. Yeah. So if you have a name like Olaf, and you're a main NPC, <laughs> the Olaf Craig, decorated lieutenant general of her bonus armed forces. I think I've heard of him. Many consider him the most formidable general in the Imperial Army. And he's more, known more widely around the Empire simply Craig the Red. The 4th four, Armored Division, which boasts the greatest firepower in the entire armed forces. Interesting. Come to think of it, does an instructor need help? Yeah, I was just thinking, that's how they know each other. Kind of threw him and I saw Elliot just casually chatting with him a while ago. But I can see how he'd wind up talking with him outside of class. Oh, did you see that? Yeah, I went through my dad for come to the academy. While I'm not surprised you didn't peg me as Olaf Craig's son, I was kind of hoping you wouldn't find out. Elliot. Baka. Doesn't take a second to see there's something going on there. Yeah, Dad wanted a manly man. <coughs> Sorry, hold on, hold on a second. Ugh. <clears throat> Dad wanted a manly man, and he got this wimpy musician of a son. All right. Do you know any of the hotels around here, Fiona? Just for where we're staying, it's apparently around here, but I've got a clue where it actually is. What? You're not staying here? We are time for a field study. And there are enough beds for all of us. I I volunteer to have Reen and Laura share a bed. <coughs> you know, to make the accommodations work. Sniffle, I guess you've finally reached that age where it's not cool to give your sis big hugs anymore. I feel a little sad. Guess we all grow up. We'll still be washing over you, though. <laughs> Says, please. The guilt. The guilt. His sister seems to be even more attached to him than he is to her. Sounds like a trend, honestly, with sisters in this game. Any hotels in the area? Not that I know of. Huh? Not at all. So you have to make such a careless mistake. Show me the address he gave you. Right here. Oh, I think I know where this is. But isn't this really... Oh, the old Bracer Guild used to be. Well, well, well. A guild branch? Are you sure? Yeah, well, a friend of mine used to work there. Been out of touch for a while now. Well, really? I had no idea. Bracers... Huh. Still, what my father choose to put us in an old guild house? Well, we should have to go look for ourselves. Do you know the way, Elliot? Just down the road. No, oh, so we stay a bit longer. If you things to do, I'll just stay here. Hello. It'd make my day if you drop by for meals while you're here, though. I'd be more than happy to cook for you all. Ooh, that sounds great. What do you guys think? Well, if it wouldn't be any trouble. I'm not going to turn down home cooking. I'm in. That's the spirit. I'm sure to treat you to the very best I can whip up this evening. Make sure you get plenty done today to work up a real appetite. Yeah, we have more than the festival to look forward to now, Laura. All right, to the guild. Oh, Adios. Sob. Oh, Adios. Thank you for answering my prayers. 
Yeah, she's gonna cook us some food. We'll sign up at Face Unto Vain Cure Street. Okay. But I'm gonna look around your place a little first, Elliot. Let's get a painting over here. Which was this? Nothing worth seeing here. Let's get going. Oh, is this your room, Elliot? Yeah, but... Uh, it's a huge... It's... I don't know. I'm sure somebody cleaned up since you've been in here. Sure you didn't see it. <laughs> don't get that, just that fluster of a mess. Suspicious. Well, I can't believe that Elliot, of all people, would have indecent material lying around. Of course not. I'd just rather you didn't go inside, that's all. All right, if you insist. Boo, Elliot. So that's the sister's room. We got one bed. Hello. It's locked. My dad's room. Where's your mom? Why do I not remember hearing about mom? Oh, we'll deal with that next time. Thank you all for watching. Please, like and subscribe if you're enjoying things. By all means, share your thoughts. You know I love to hear them. And I'll try to respond as I can. And if you're feeling generous, you can always follow me on Twitter or check me out on Patreon. Talk to you later.